Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create this entire look. It's super glam, the most glam that I've done in the longest time because we have everything going on. We've got a smoky eye, but it's a blue smoky eye. We've got liner, we've got glitter, we've got lashes, we've got full face, boot. Feeling the best, looking the best, that's all. If you'd like to see how I created this look, then please stay tuned. Hello. First things first. Get my hair and my face. The primer I'm going to be using is the Too Faced Hangover X Primer. I've just been really, really liking it because it gives me that beautiful dewy bounce to my skin. I'm just taking two pumps of that, rubbing my hands together and applying that all over and then giving it a little pat in. So now we're super fresh. The next product I'm going to go in with is actually my eyes. We're going to do eyes first today because I'm doing something real special. This is the Shape Tape Eye Primer. I've been really, really liking it. My hands are slippy. And the way we're gonna use this is we're just gonna scribble it onto the eye, all over, right up to the brow. Now I'm just gonna set this eye primer with my Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Finish Powder. And this just sets that eye primer. It makes it so much easier to blend on top. These are the Makeup Geek Power Pigments. I think they're absolutely gorgeous. I used these yesterday, but the colours I'm going to use today are the teal and the kind of darker blue as well. I'll link the colours down below. This is from yesterday, but it's still got blue in it, so that's fine. And we're just going to use this brush to start applying the blue into the crease. It's going to be like a smoky eye, but with a bit of colour. It will be <laughs> super gorgeous, I promise. So I'm going to go in with the blue first. And even though this bright colour is really pigmented, they actually blend really nicely as well. Oh my god, it goes with my nails! <laughs> and I'm just using the side of the brush to make sure the blend's looking nice and smooth. Now I'm going to go in with the darker colour, just right here. And we're just going to start building up that schmuggy eye. I'm just going to go in the crease first, onto the lid a little bit. And then when you need to, you can go back in with your fluffy brush just to blend that out. I think that they blend like a flipping dream. So easy. And I don't, I actually don't think that that's really popular with really bright eyeshadows. I sometimes find them quite chalky, but these guys are stunning. I don't know how this is going to go because this is really different tones than what I'm used to. But the next product I'm going to use is the... Block Party Eyeshadow by Dose of Colours. This is the shade Caffeine Queen, which I am. We're gonna spray the brush for maximum impact. And we're just gonna put this on. I just love these eyeshadows so much. And then we're gonna enhance, because the sparkle in this shadow is actually silver, which you can see now starting to pick it up. I'm gonna go in with the darker blue and just intensify this crease a little bit more. I'm just using a teeny tiny 224 brush from Zweva, one of my faves. I'm just using really tiny circular movements to make sure that's all nicely blended. Before I do any liner or lashes, I'm going to go in with the Tarte White Clay Pot. And this is going to be the best thing for the inner corner for us. I'm just going to take a little eyeshadow brush, pick up some product, and we're just going to stamp that on the inner corner so you can see how bright that is, right? And we're just gonna use the same brush with no product on, buff that out a little bit. Now that we've got the white on, to make it a little bit more natural, I'm gonna go in with the KK Beauty Highlight Palette in number one. I used this yesterday and it's beautiful, but I want to use the lightest shade today. This white gel liner before we do the highlight makes it so strong. This shadow I've got on my lid, has the most gorgeous silver glitter reflex. I'm gonna intensify that with my NYX Silver Glitter and Glitter Primer. A little bit of the glitter primer on the back of my hand and I actually like to use a fluffy brush just to apply a little bit of this onto the lid. I just feel like this makes it go on a little bit less blocky. It goes on a little bit more random. Now we've done that, I want to do some liner. I'm going to take my It Cosmetics Superhero Liner and we're going to do some wings. I 
For mascara, I'm going to use the It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. I've actually been really, really liking this. I said it crumbled in another video, but it comes off really, really easily and I actually really enjoy that because I don't have to tug at my eyes. It does actually last all day and it comes off really easy, so I'm, I, I'm really liking this actually. Lashes, we're going to do the Lily Lashes in Miami. Lashes are on, time for brows. Same technique I've been using for a while. This is my Benefit 24 hour brow setter gel and this is Gimme Brow and all I do is go in with this first and then this when it's drying out and it's so easy. Actually, I'm a flippin' liar. We're gonna do foundation. First is the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter and I like to just use this on the kind of high points of my face because it gives me a really beautiful dewy finish to my foundation that I've been absolutely loving. Two pumps of this. Mm, yeah, two pumps. And we're just going to buff this into the skin. And this foundation combo has just been the absolute best. I've been using it for a fair little while actually and my foundation always lasts so well now. For concealer, I'm gonna go in with my NARS Soft Matte Concealer and a Beauty Blender and we're just gonna pack this stuff on. It just gives it the most beautiful, bright, under eye and flawless finish. Now we're going to use the Charlotte Tilbury powder to set everywhere and by everywhere I mean under eyes and smile lines because I do not like powder everywhere. Now our base is done, we're going to finish off our eyes. I'm just going to go in with the same colours that are on the top underneath the eyes. Okay, we need some bottom mascara. finish off the eyebrows, I'm going to use Gimme Brow right through them and build it up. Now that our eyebrows and our eyes are finished, we're going to go in with bronzer, which is going to be my NARS Casino. I absolutely love this bronzer. And I like to just bring my bronzer down my neck a little bit to make sure there's no lines. And then to highlight the face, I'm going to use the KKW New Highlighting Palette and I'm going to go in with this shade here, which seems to be the most reflective. Let's swatch. Why did I was swatching the weird part of my arm? Wow. I think that looks absolutely gorgeous. I'm using these two colours mixed together, by the way. Let's do a freckle on our lips. For lips, I am actually going to do a glossy lip. I am a changed woman today. So, we're going to use the NARS Hieres lip liner, which is my new favourite. And then we're going to use the ultra glossy lip that is from Sheila's collection with Colourpop. I'm going to just pop on the lipstick from Sheila's collection as well. This is the shade Quickie. It's just a really gorgeous nude, so we'll stick that on. Do I want to make this glossy? That is a question. Yeah, let's just do it. This is called Neat Freak. Oh yeah, that's nice. Let me take my hair down. Ow. Bah. So you guys, that is the finished look. Sorry about the battle with my hair at the end of it. You know, I just didn't know what hair suited this look. And obviously it's going to be a snatched pony. <laughs> So this look turned out very dramatic. I think it's like a princess jasmine look if she was going to Vegas, like if she was going out out to the party, to find the party, to find her prince. But probably end up now finding her prince and having a good time with the ladies, that's what I am. Everything that I use today will be linked down below. If you like this video, please thumbs up it and maybe leave a comment and subscribe if you'd like to see more from me. And other than that, I will see you in the next video. Bye. This is really, really quick. Same technique I've been using. And I just dug my nail in this. Why am I like this? Oh my God. No. Covered in the remnants of my dead powder.
So, if you would like to see how I create this tutorial, then please...